Angular Resolved Analysis. In the context of the leading idea from structure to function, the Angular Resolved Analysis of Volume Holograms is of particular importance. Analysis of diffractive light provides basic access to the characteristic properties of the patterns causing the diffraction. Particularly, the Angular Resolve diffraction efficiency provides information on the key features, such as grading constant, grading slant and, by comparison with coupled wave theory, RCWA, calculations, also about layer thickness, refractive index contrast and refractive index profile. Analysis of the final holograms is usually accomplished in a rotation scan setup with collimated probe beam. Figure 7 shows a rotation scan setup plus corresponding transmission curve, that is, the angular response of a volume hologram, dots, and comparison with RCWA calculations, solid line. The transmitted signal of a 543 nm Heaney laser is detected while the hologram under test is rotated. From the angularly resolved transmission, the following information is derived. First, the maximum diffraction efficiency can be obtained and can be correlated with the exposure energy density E to yield the material response. Second, the grading constant lambda can be derived with the help of 1A. Finally, RCWA calculations can be used to derive values for the layer thickness D and the refractive index contrast delta N. Microscopic techniques. As outlined above, Low contrast is the main problem in imaging of volume holographic gratings. It might be proposed to apply fluorescent media or dyes as contrast agents to improve the image contrast. In this case, agglomeration of the contrast media along the grating planes would be prerequisite to achieve the desired effect, which cannot always be ensured. To achieve contrast in electron microscopy, conductive species are necessarily required. This is the case where nanoparticles are incorporated. Thus, Transmission Electron Microscopy, TM, is used to evaluate the degree of nanoparticle assembly. Scanning Force Microscopy, SFM, may be applied additionally, to map surface modulations. Nanocomposite materials are also the subject of investigations by luminescence microscopy. However, mapping of nanoparticles yields only a limited description of lattice structures, not necessarily identical with the grading of interest, which is linked to the diffractive properties. In fact, it has been demonstrated that photoinsensitive nanoparticles experience counterdiffusion during grading buildup. The imaging task is becoming increasingly complex without conductive species and with regard to the three-dimensionality of volume phase gratings. However, it is the third dimension in particular to which the specific features of volume holograms can be assigned. All the limitations notwithstanding, optical microscopy might nevertheless be applied to analyze volume holograms. Corresponding images are shown in figure 8. A one-dimensional volume phase grating is shown on the left side of figure 8. In case of higher dimensional gratings, optical microscopy may only be applied to picture single planes of the structure. As an example, the middle and right-hand side of figure 8 show two planes of a three-dimensional holographic grating with hexagonal close-packing crystal structure. It was produced by four mutually coherent exposure beams. The lateral distance of neighboring crystal units is 2 micrometer, to be read from figure 8. The grading constant perpendicular to the image plane amounts to 22 micrometer, not shown.